Hi, so today I'm going to make a video on how to use Stats Lab is one of our uh, tools we have at CSUS to access computers remotely. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a piece of software on some computers um, that are located at Sac State to do Lab 1 um, as we go through it. So the piece of software we're actually going to be using is called a um, Virtual Machine Player or VMware Player. Um, and so the goal is really what it does is it runs a it allows us to run an operating system on top of our current one. So it virtualizes some hardware for us and allows us to actually run tools on different operating systems. Um, so that's the kind of the player tool that we're going to use, um, as well as we have a virtual machine that you can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you is we want to get access to this IP address or an IP address, sorry this URL, so stats.labs.csus.edu. Now this right here, you will you might need your VPN to be enabled. So you may not, if you just type this in without it, please make sure you do enable your VPN. That way um, you can access some of those school sites. Now the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select ECS. And you'll notice there's a bank of computers um, in different rooms that we can access remotely. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to select in the search key, I'm gonna type VMware and press enter. And you'll see there's a number of them. So it's important that we've selected ECS when we do this because this is gonna allow us to make sure that they have the correct tools that we're going to use. And I'm just gonna select the first one, or the first room, and I'm just gonna select the very first computer. So you're gonna select connect and download. Now you will be given an RDP or remote desktop file, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that. You'll see a little window pop up. I'm gonna select connect. and it should have a loading screen trying to connect to the computer itself remotely. Now, after that, you'll see a remote desktop connection. I'm gonna select yes. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show this off screen, but first I'll show you as you see, it'll ask me for my credentials, right? So um, it has my CSUS credentials. So I'm going to simply type in my CSUS password for those credentials and a new uh, pop up and then select again. Now from here, a new window should appear. You can see here it's loading or it's allowing me to access that uh, remote desktop. So this might take a minute or two. So this is physically on a different computer. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna access the Moodle site um, so we can download the virtual machine from Moodle. So I'm just simply going to open up Google Chrome. And I'm going to type in the URL for the Moodle, which will be ecs-tw-moodle.ecs.csus.edu. So hopefully this works the first time, but we'll see. Ah, yes. So now from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in my credentials. So this is your CSUS credentials. Let me try out the right ones. Oh yeah, first try. All right. Now I'm gonna change my view here real fast, guys. Sorry, it just makes it a little easier so you guys see the same thing I do. So here in Moodle, I'm gonna scroll down and in the lab one section, what you'll notice is we have this VM zip download, right? And so I wanna do is I wanna download this VM. So I'm gonna select that and it, it might take a second or two. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show in folder and boom. Now I've already previously downloaded it because I've, I've had these um, from previous semesters, but let me go ahead and I'm gonna delete these just so it'll make it easier for you guys, to, a little less confusion. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this compressed or zip, the dot zip file. I'm going to right click and then extract all, right? And then just select extract. Might take a second. Okay. 
Excellent. Now, if we look inside this folder, there's this VMware player. We are not going to use that. You can actually delete it. It's really old. And what you'll see in here is there's this VMX, um, v, uh, VMDK, and a couple other stuff. So these are the files that we're going to need. So this is the actual virtual machine that we're going to utilize. So now what I want to do is I want to run my virtual machine player. So this is the piece of software. So here I'm going to go to VMware uh, Workstation 15 Player. And I want to open up that. Now from here, I know it'll say expired license, but it's okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to select open a virtual machine. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I download my virtual machine files and keep going until you see this dot VMX. And we're going to go ahead and select that. And just as you see as it loads, we'll see Win 98, Masm Fall 2010. So we're going to now select play virtual machine. Over. Um, select OK. If that comes up, we'll see how things go. If we need to, we might switch to a different drive, but we should be able to do enough to what we for what we need to get done for a while. It'll take a second or two, so be patient. And hit OK. And there we go. So now our virtual machine is on our desktop. Um, and when we get started in the lab, if you watch some of the other lab videos, you'll notice we have debug. I'm just going to select that and, you know, simply type in debug and boom. So just as we can go through the lab in the different ways. So I hope this is helpful. Again, remember, in order to access these tools, you, you very well will need your, um, might need your VPN on. Uh, that depends on IRT, if what they configured it for, but I would recommend in and out have uh, your uh, VPN on because that's most likely going to be needed. Now, if you have any questions, please ask your lab instructor and have a wonderful day.